On to Indonesia now, where a number of fertilizer manufacturing plants are classified as vital state facilities because they play an important role in ensuring food security in the country. But these facilities are also high-risk zones located close to human settlements. Saiful Bari Ismail visits Indonesia's biggest fertilizer plant and finds out how it ensures safety within its compounds and the surrounding areas. This is the distance between a residential area and an industrial estate in Bontang, East Kalimantan province. They are separated by a buffer zone which is made up of vegetation and wetland. The biggest facility in the industrial estate is a fertilizer plant, Pupo, Kalimantan Timur. The plant is a state-owned enterprise that produces non-organic fertilizers like urea, which uses raw materials such as ammonia. Guntung Village is one of the closest to the fertilizer manufacturing plant here in Bontang. When PT Pupuk Kalimantan Timur first built its plant in 1977, there were only a few residents living in the surrounding areas. But communities have sprouted over the years. Now, the distance between residents in Guntung and the plant is only about 800 meters. There are about 9,000 residents in Guntung village and many are employed by Pupo Kalimantan Timur. The village has prospered from the fertilizer business. But residents have also long endured discomfort from the pungent ammonia smell. Kalau misalnya bau itu wajar, itu kan namanya perusahaan amonia, walaupun bagaimana tetap adalah itu. Nah, tapi kami kan sudah biasa seperti itu. Ada menyengat tapi tidak setiap hari. Tergantung arah angin, Pak. Kalau anginnya barat, dia larinya ke sana. Tapi kalau anginnya selatan, larinya ke sini, ke Guntung. Pupuk Kalimantan Timur acknowledges the smell coming from its facilities but maintains that the emissions are not at dangerous levels and does not pose a health risk to residents. The company says it abides the high safety standards and has several layers of protection in the event of a leakage. It also conducts regular emergency drills to keep first responders alert for any possible incidents. Kita juga mengundang pak pihak-pihak eksternal dari uh, perangkat uh, daerah. Kita punya dinas kesehatan, kita punya uh, BNPB ataupun yang Disaster Authority. Nah, kita juga punya pemkot, pemerintah kota. Karena kita perlu keterlibatan mereka. Karena apa? Begitu kita ada sesuatu yang ternyata uh, punya impact ke masyarakat, ini kita channel komunikasi ini sudah bisa jelas supaya yang kita harapkan tidak terjadi miskomunikasi antara apa yang terjadi di dalam dengan apa yang uh, terinformasi di luar. Residents in Guntung also take part in these emergency drills and are taught about the different types of sirens activated. Serina itu dia mendengung tiga kali, itu tandanya ada bahaya, harus kita menyingkir di tempat pelindungan tempat yang sudah tersedia. Kalau sering berbunyi kan kita waspada. Nanti ada berita apa gimana gimana kan dari pupuk kaltim. Jadi kita udah tahu. Safety at vital state facilities in Indonesia came under scrutiny following the deadly blaze in March at a fuel depot in North Jakarta operated by state-owned energy company Pertamina. The fire spread to a settlement next to the facility, killing 33 residents. The government has ordered safety audits for vital state facilities across the country to prevent a similar incident. Saya sih berharap untuk pabrik pupuk yang tingkat uh, dampak lingkungannya tinggi, potensi resikonya terhadap masyarakat sekitar juga tinggi, itu tidak diterapkan sistem pengawasan mandiri, di mana mereka mengawasi diri, diri, diri mereka sendiri, lalu membuat laporan, yang tentu laporan mereka ke Dinas Lingkungan Hidup menyatakan bahwa SOP mereka berjalan, fasilitas uh, pendukung untuk pengendalian dampak mereka berfungsi dengan baik, dan the state-owned enterprises ministry says the impact of an explosion at the fertilizer plant which contains raw materials such as ammonia may be more devastating. One way to mitigate the impact is for companies to reevaluate the surrounding landscape and create sufficient buffer zones between plants and settlements. Saiful Bahri Smile, CNA, Bontang, Indonesia.